What's, <clears throat> what's good, YouTube? This man spill, dog. Yo, man, Keith Thurman, he gonna have to swallow his pride, man. Just come on back. And he and he need to just come out here and fight Boots. Uh, I don't really see a whole lot of choices left for him. Uh, Bud and Earl finna fight. <clears throat> you see that July 29th. The winner not fighting you. Spence not gonna fight you. If he win, more likely, if Crawford don't rematch him, he going to 154 and put the belts up. If Crawford win, more likely he rematches Spence or he going up to 154 and probably try to challenge Charlo. So who else you going to fight? We don't want to see no more tune-ups, Keith, because when you take a tune-up, you don't come back for a year, year and a half. By the time you come back, you're going to need another tune-up. So you got to come on back out here and fight this time. Uh, and I don't see why not take the fight with Boots. That's the same thing you did with Earl Spence. You know, a big fight sitting right there. But your arrogance, uh, you you just disregard a fight because it ain't at the time that you think it should be or whatever the case may be. You really don't have options like that. Not from what I see. Not... Not if you're trying to get back on the scene and get some money and make a splash. Who you gonna fight? It's either gotta be Boots, Ugas. I mean, you can fight him. I guess that's okay. But uh, you need to fight somebody on that level. Boots, Ugas, Rashidi Ellis already got beat, so that won't make no sense. Virgil Ortiz, it's a few fights out there for you. And you really need to go ahead and talk to Al and try to take one. Or... You know, I understand you want to be a man of being fighter, but Keith, you want to get back in touch with reality, son. You lost to a 40-something-year-old Manny Pacquiao. That was your fault. You come back with a 140-pounder that Tank just knocked out and go 12 rounds with him. That ain't turning no heads. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I think a fight with you and Boost is a great fight. Uh, and after watching him with... Uh, whatever that guy's name was, I can't say his name, and the movement, it made me think it's really a more even fight than I might have thought at one time. Uh, and then, to be honest with you, Keith, you should have enough experience, and shit, you should be still young and fresh yourself. You ain't, I mean, you ain't fought but three fights in, I think, about, about six years. So, I mean, I don't see it, you know, I don't think you got the options you think you have. You know, if you, if you, uh, serious about coming back and doing something even if they put the even if they put the belts up you're gonna probably have to fight boots or somebody it's i don't think you're gonna be able to get around it i think that's how you got the position you in now not want to take the fight with spence i don't know if you were scared or like you said just waiting till the money got bigger but you see how that turned out last time don't don't let Boots get the belts, and you have another one feeling that that type of way about you. I mean, uh, he need a big fight, and so do you. You gonna have to go out here and, uh, and put your neck out on the line. I mean, with with the young with the with the young lion, maybe you can tame him. Maybe not. Even if you lose that fight, if you make a good showing, you know that that gets you back in the mix of things against a real quality fighter. We done seen you tune up. We done seen enough tune ups, Keith. I mean, just keeping it real. You just, Mario Barrios was a tune up shit. You ain't gonna get back in the ring for another year or so. So, the tune up ain't gonna help you. You know, you, you, you're, you know, it's too, it's too big a gap in between your fights. I'm thinking Al probably realized that now too. He can't give you a couple of million dollars. You out of here. You know, so you need to go in here and just come out here. And that way, if you fight somebody like Boots and then you go home for another two years and come back when you're 36, it won't look so bad. But your your pattern has been a fight and you disappear. You don't do interviews. I mean, you completely disappear. Like, you don't want nothing to do with boxing. And I feel you. So either you're going to fight or you're not. And it look like the fight for you, if you're going to come back, you and Boots need a fight or I guess Ugas, but... You, how much credit you gonna get for that when Sean and beat him, Earl and beat him up, you know, uh, and he had lost a couple of fights before that. You really need a better fight than that. You really do. You know, you need to go in here and, 
I mean, you're going to have to come out here and take a risk. Now, you should be, like I said, you ain't no old man. You know, uh, that you can't use that. You know, you're, only, you're 34 years old, but you ain't a boxer at 34 because you ain't been in the ring. And when you was in the ring, you was a good enough fighter that you didn't take a lot of damage. So, it would be a pretty even fight from where I'm sitting there with you and Boots. He might be a little faster or whatever, but you got the edge and, the, the edge and experience and knowledge in the ring and being up under the lights in big fights. So, if you want, if like, if you say you're a main event fighter, that's a main event fighter too. That might be the main event fight because you can't get neither one of these guys. Danny going up to 150 now. That or if Danny want a rematch, that ain't a bad fight. You know, uh, the fans can live with that. But you're gonna have to come out here uh, and have a real fight, Keith. It ain't no way around it. Uh, and I'm, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking you know that deep down inside. And you're gonna have to make a decision, cause I, you know, wait broke the bridge. That's how you got in the position you in now, waiting around, seeing what's gonna happen. You know, shit, you'll be drawing social security for a long. You keep waiting like this. So if I was you, <clears throat> I would probably call Al, have him call Steven Espinosa, and see if you don't want to be on the undercard. I, I, I can dig that. Then you and Boos is a great, uh, a great. Big fight, maybe uh, in August or September or whenever, whenever y'all think y'all ready. But I think that's a great fight. And you you should get paid the kind of money you used to get for the, for that fight. And if you win, shit, you right back in the top of the uh, top of the food chain because both of them going up to 154 after they fight, they one or two fights with each other. Uh, Spencer Crawford. So I know you ain't gonna just wait another year or two until they finish this whole little situation out. And once again, a tune-up fight, unless you just trying to get a check and out willing to do that. The fans ain't looking for that. That ain't going to be pay-per-view. So if you want pay-per-view, I, I, I look like Boots is the, is, is the direction you need to be going in from where I'm sitting at. You know, uh, but that's it for me on this video. Like the video, hit the like, and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill, dog. I'm out.